folks quiet, please. I've got, I've got the old man in the wheelchair on the right. Now, wait a minute. You say Joey's not going to be there, though. Well, i got to move him a little bit to the right. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, we don't see Billy. Let's go to let JT look there. We don't see Billy until the very end. Mm -hmm. No, okay, we gotta be more this yeah, back up. Yeah, back up, but, you know, because it's real active change. Back up, back up more, John. Back up more, back up more, back up. Right there. Right there. Good. Okay. okay. Um okay, the, the boom is okay, I didn't see anything. A mercury. No, we gotta make some adjustments. Yeah. Okay, can and you work on it? Can you go back to the position where I said Joe was locked? Here we are shooting a short and that, it's wonderful because um I think, you know, f f the cinema as an art form started off with one reelers, and I think short films, it, it's too bad. It is a, kind of a dying art form, but um, it'd be nice to see it come back. I'm certainly glad the Academy didn't eliminate the, the category of short film, um, and I still hope they don't, because I, I think that certainly would be the last nail in the coffin for short filmmaking, and I think it's a great art form. Uh, I personally love, it's like short storytelling. I love reading short stories. I can't really bring myself to read a novel because it's too many pages. <laughs> so I, I love this, you know, just, I like um, laconic uh, narrative. <laughs> um, so, um, so that's why we're doing it. It's just a wonderfully rich character piece. And I love casting uh, actors against type. And I thought it was a great opportunity to put J.T. Walsh in this, in this uh, who usually plays a very straight, you know, what he calls government work type characters. And to have him play someone who who appears straight on the surface, but is actually a misogynistic, psychotic killer. And not that it's that important, but it was uh, the line reference to the girl. Do you want to date? When you quote her, mm -hmm. you um, you played her a little more. It was a little more okay. misogynistic. Right. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Great. great. Thanks. Oh, just the ca the character. You know, I mean, it's, actors love to play <sighs> weirdos. And it's not that weird. I mean, I philosophically probably no, no, no. I won't go that far. But uh, he's just a he's a nice guy. <laughs> they're characters, you know what I mean? They're uh, yeah, they're characters as a and so you go right to it, you know. As an actor, you go, ooh, I get to put on a dress, ooh, a wig, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, one thing after another, you know. I get to be someone who. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. I like to have an ensemble and sort of work. People work, work that way a lot in the 40s, and uh, it's nice to work with people. You know, I have a lot of people here who are working with me from my last feature. And uh, to have Molly play uh, sort of an insecure reporter, uh, an adult role, which you really haven't seen her in. And I, I like, I think she's a really fine actress. Scene two, yeah, yeah. A, take one. Sounds good. Marker. Okay, George. Action. I don't know how you can eat in here. What do you mean? I think you really pissed me off. This is an important issue. They're letting these killers out of these places every day. You know what? They usually do it again. It could be you next time. It would be so fucking nonchalant about it. Another thing is the insanity plea. It's bullshit. I mean, you kill someone, clearly you're insane. Should that matter? The director, George, had sent me the script with a letter, uh, which I read, and, uh, you know, he said, I know you don't usually do things like this, but I think it'd be a really interesting character for you. And, and I read the script, and then George told me he was shooting it in black and white, and I said, forget it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Great. And then, and then you start out and you follow the Sir Carl's left by yourself. Okay. So we're at that point. Okay, now after that, after they're gone, <laughs> now we've got a problem here because Jefferson has left. Now Jefferson walks back into the scene. Does he walk back in this from this way? <laughs> the phantom administrator. Um, um, you know, maybe it would be better if you didn't leave Jefferson and you just looked at, 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 um, at, at, uh, at Martin. Like, okay, it's time for them to go. Yes. And it's like, All right. you, you know, yeah. this is over, but nothing is said. It's just in, right. you know, in your face. It's okay. It's, it's over. And this is it. And so you kind of, leave. you haven't been satisfied with this whole experience because you really haven't gotten anything out of it that you really wanted or you thought you were going to get. 
All right, so can we take it from the top and try to Where do stumble? we walk off to? I'm sorry, you're going to walk, you guys are going to be escorted. Sometimes short films are actually more complete and more concise than a lot of regular films. In Europe, they're much more common, and people are always doing short films, and it's really much more of a respected medium. And uh, here, short films, I mean, they, <laughs> agents are like, what, what are short films? <laughs> you know, what are they? What do you want to do one of those for? Um, but I think that they're really, really interesting. I mean, it's like short stories and novels, you know, just because you have novels doesn't mean you shouldn't have short stories.